<clears throat> it's alright. Well, that was the very short answer, but let's get to the just short answer. Because let's be honest, I would be surprised if this video ends up being longer than 3 minutes. But hey, I wanna talk about it, so why not make a video about it, right? So in the past, to be specific, in my potentially good runes on Rel video, I claimed that if Rel was able to properly use Face Rush, it would be the new go-to rune on her. And yeah, with the Rel midscope update, we got just that. Now Rel can without a problem use Face Rush if she wishes to do so. So did Face Rush become even slightly used on Rel? Not really. Well, some would say that about 5% of the Rel mains play Face Rush, being myself, so that's something, right? Okay, okay, jokes by side. Face Rush is not used on Rel at all. And I was totally wrong. Aftershock and Glacial are still, at least on support, the go-to runes on Rel, without any competition. But does that mean that Face Rush is bad on her? Well, I wouldn't say it's bad, but there are certainly reasons why so few people play it and why Aftershock and Glacial Augment are way superior. Let's look at the matchups first. As a ground rule, it has always been Aftershock when playing against melee supports and Glacial when playing against rage supports. That's of course very generalized with some exceptions, but looking at it on the surface, it has always been like that. And well, that hasn't really changed. So if Aftershock is for melees and glacial is for ranged, when would I even go for face rush then? And what can I say, the only matchups in the entire game where it might, without a big emphasis on might, where you could even consider going for face rush, would be Bard and maybe Rakan. Reason being that these are both ranged champions, but they can consistently avoid the Glacial Slow with their mobility. So you want to somewhat dive on them, but even when hitting your spells, it can be hard to really stick on them, which adds at least some value to face rush. But here's where the next problem I see with face rush on Rel comes in. Hitting spells. Rel has been and still is an if you're in, you're in champion. The rework might have given you a bit more options to play around, but if you engage with your entire kit on Rel, you're committed to that fight and not even full tilt can get you out of there. And usually you want to use face rush to take quick trades and run out again. But if you go in as Rel and actually hit your spells in order to trigger face rush, you usually don't want to go out again. Of course, when you engage on the enemy bot lane and in that second the enemy jungler appears out of nowhere, then face rush can be nice and help you to get out. But that's way too specific to justify going face rush over after shock or glacial augment. The moment when you want to get out of these situations as well are the same moments where you mess up your engage combo in the first place, meaning you don't even get to proc face rush since you're not hitting any spells. With Alistar for example, who is the support that is probably best known for going face rush, has a combo that can very consistently activate it with it being point to click. Rel doesn't have that. When you play face rush on Rel, you kinda have to force yourself to go for those half-hearted all-in short trades, which just sounds wrong in the first place, that are in most cases suboptimal trade patterns for the champion. If you want to play like that, you should pick Alistar or maybe Rakan in the first place. That's like picking Yorick and playing him on a teamfight playstyle. It just doesn't make sense. This pretty much sums up the issues that come up when playing Rel with Face Rush. It's still probably the fourth best Keystone Mastery on Rel, and it can from time to time give you value for sure, but if you want to win, you should probably stick with Aftershock or Glacial Augment. But that's gonna be for this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.